Friends and greetings from Austin. As you see, the volcanic eruption in Austin does not stop. It's over one week as we have had the erupting volcano north of Grindavik. And I will start with a volcanic update from Icelandic Mat Office. The volcanic eruption has been stable since Monday 25th. Eruption drama has remained consistent since then, as has the activity in the three craters. Lava continues to flow southwards from the craters, mostly atop the lava field formed during the first days of the eruption. Uh, the following image shows the extension of the lava field as extrapolated from satellite images ISI. The latest acquisition was on March 26 and it shows the widening of lava field towards the west, south of Hagafat as well as further lava advancement towards the east and the south of the active winds. Uplift continues at in Swartzangi but at a slower rate than prior to the previous eruptions or dike in intrusions in recent months. This suggests that magma is still accumulating beneath Swartzangi despite ongoing eruption. Little to no seismic activity has been detected in the area in the past days. Uh, let's uh, go slightly forward and see how the volcano looks right now. This is ongoing situation as we are looking at it uh, today on Friday at uh, soon 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the craters are pretty big, about 20 meters in height, the one to the left. There's somewhat less activity to the crater, in the crater to the right. There is also a small crater erupting here to the very right, as you see. Yesterday night we have seen a wall collapse at the crater. Let's see how it took place. It's starting to slide. Boom, you see. Volcano is self-destructive power. Very often it suffocates itself on its own. Let's look again. An interesting phenomenon had been observed uh, in the ongoing eruption, and this is the fact that the lava level in the craters is not the same from right to left, thus the lava from the main crater flows into the other craters, suggesting that craters are not in hydraulic equilibrium that can only be explained by difference in friction within the upper feeder paths of the craters. The average outflow rate from the craters is about the same, the craters are exhibiting a multi-cyclic behavior that has them stronger at some times and weaker at others. A friend of mine flew over the eruption side and this is how volcano looks from the air. As you see there are three erupting craters, two big ones, kind of twin craters and one tiny for the south and nearly all the lava is going south from the volcano. Currently we are also having issues with uncontrollable wildfires at the eruption centers as it had been the case back uh, in 2023 last summer at Little Hrutur. Today firefighters uh, go on light buggies to wildfires at the volcanoes uh, there are ideal conditions for uh, wildfires in the southwestern part of the country this weekend. It is very dry in the southwest of Iceland, and wildfires have started near the volcanoes on the Reykjanes Peninsula. 
The wildfires are far from the beaten track and are poorly approached by conventional fire engines, fire machines. It is uh, therefore necessary to resort to other means to try to get to a, to get a handle on them. Uh, we are going to go into the area on buggies and get one dump truck with us and see if we can at least keep this down so that it doesn't spread much more, says Einar Sveit Jongson, fire chief of the Grindavik Fire Brigade. Uh, the weather forecast for the next days is not favorable in the southwestern part of the country. It will continue to be dry, so there is little hope that the weather will help the firefighters. However, the wildfires are not threatening in settlements or important infrastructure. It is mostly moss and scrubland. It can spread pretty wide. It's such a vast expanse up there. This could be could become extremely large and it would then be very difficult to deal with it, says Einar Sway. Firefighting is mostly about keeping the fires down and trying to prevent them from causing a lot of pollution which could spread over settlements. In the most recent interview of Benedict Offix on, on a Sunday radio, he expressed the opinion that there are many indications that the same magma chamber fits all the eruptions on Reykjanes Peninsula. Uh, the continual, continuous lava flow originates at considerable depth, says Benedict, 10 to 20 kilometers below the Earth's surface. And it is clear that the magma chamber is quite large. However, nothing can be said about it exactly how big it is, and therefore uh, not about how long the eruption will last. <clears throat> Many things indicate that the magma in the last four eruptions on Reykjanes comes from the same magma chamber as in previous uh, eruptions uh, in Fagradalsfjall, which were much further from Grindavik and Svartsangi. Four days ago, uh, they tested the roads in Grindavik with a big truck, pressure tested, and as you see, one of the trucks uh, did find uh, a crack in which he slided with one wheel. Luckily, nothing happened to the driver or the truck, which lost one of the tires, but otherwise, uh, both the truck and the driver are good. Here you see the hole which had been found on the road in Grindavik. It's quite incredible. Yesterday, a Sentinel satellite flew over the Reykjanes Peninsula, and here comes a picture from the satellite showing volcanoes, erupting volcanoes on Reykjanes. And the picture is assembled to highlight heat radiation. And as you see, most of lava is spreading somewhat to the south, south east even. And uh, you can see also hot lava in the very southern tip of the lava f uh, of the lava fields. There is no hot lava towards the ocean in this tongue that stretches all the way to the ocean. So this flow ha had stopped it, and it looks like it won't resume anytime soon because that outflow is not sufficient to to fit it. P but perhaps you never know if it can goes for a long time. Lava can still, there might come more lava into this area and it might cross the road and reach the ocean. But at the moment, most of the lava is spreading southeast of the volcano, kind of good area where there is no threat to, to anything or anybody except vegetation, perhaps. There are some hot spots closer to the wall next to Grindavik. As you know, wall had been raised, so it's rather. Uh, safe, there is no threat directly to the buildings or anything, and Blue Lagoon is absolutely safe for now until the next eruption. 
because the craters to the north went off and the run of hot lows and that are hot flows in that direction. Those are the latest volcanic updates from Iceland and using the occasion I wish everybody happy Easter. Be well, peace and blessings from Iceland.